Okay, so I made a list of the most hated YouTubers on YouTube, and this is my list. Okay, so at number 7, I got SS Sniper Docs, or as I like to call her, Sniper Poop. Now, believe it or not, Sniper Wolf used to make really good videos, starting off with her Amigo content. Every time she interacted with a person, she always had something witty to say, something funny, it always made me giggle. I would even consider those videos OG, next to PewDiePie. <laughs> and her reactions back then were really funny, like, like she always added input to the videos, actual real input to the video, unlike now. It's like she had more charisma back then, because if you see her videos now, she just looks like a deadbeat woman, staring soullessly into the video she's reacting to. I mean, I don't blame her, she's probably in her like mid-30s, right? Mid 30s, mid 40s, I don't know. But like, man, once you hit an age, you it's it's like you must quit YouTube, man. You don't have it in you anymore. I'm sorry to say that. Okay, so at number six, this might surprise a lot of you, but I got Taylor Swift. Now you might say she's not a YouTuber, but she has a YouTube channel and she posts YouTube videos, so that would be considered being a YouTuber. And her songs are so trash. They're so garbage, man. But I got a blank space, baby, and I'll write your name. Like, shut the hell up. What are you yapping about, Taylor? What? Okay, this might be just an excuse for me to hate on Taylor Swift, but anyways. Okay, so at number 5, I got EDP445. The EDP445. Let's be honest, guys. Buster never really wanted a cupcake, huh? If you don't know who EDP445 is, he was actually a really fun YouTuber who used to make a lot of skits and had a huge love for football. Even to the point that his fans loved him so much that they raised money to buy him a Super Bowl ticket. But you know what this scumbag did in return? He fell for a trap, and he went to meet a miner for, like, bad stuff. And not only that, years later, another YouTuber named Gideon set up a trap for him, which he fell for again. Like, this guy doesn't learn his lesson, man. Just give him the damn cupcake, or just give him the whole damn cake. Okay, so now you might be wondering, what is worse than a PDF file? On number four, we have green screen kids. Yeah, these are really annoying, very irritating. You might have seen them on YouTube shorts, like you scroll with your thumb and then boom. So basically what they do is just they just green screen themselves on viral videos and then put themselves in the corner so nobody can see them. And then boom, they get all the likes, sometimes even more likes than the viral video itself. And don't get me wrong, I do green screening, but I at least put some freaking interaction into the video, some input into the video. Okay, so number three goes to Neon. If you don't know who Neon is, he's basically this nerdy YouTuber who hides behind his bodyguards and does whatever he wants on his vlogs, mostly bullies people, tries to act tough, but he actually isn't. If you guys remember that viral video of him against the tree, being harassed by kids, literally had his shoes taken, that day he was shown what an actual he was. And honestly, his videos are so irritating. They're so irritating to watch. He's always trying to, like, poke people. But he's nothing. He's just a little skinny pencil that wants to be broken. Okay, so this next person is a person that I truly, truly dislike. And I want him off the platform totally. Like, out of the platform, out of YouTube, TikTok, everything. I'm pretty sure nobody likes this guy, like, at all. And I'm talking about Jack Doherty. Did I even say that right? Jack Doherty? Doherty? Who cares, bro? Got a weird ass name, boy. And he's basically like Neon, but three times a douchebag. He goes around confronting people, thinking he's the hot stuff, but he actually isn't. He's always hiding behind his bodyguards. And just like being a complete douchebag to random innocent people walking on the street. Like there was this beach video where he just confronted an old man. And he didn't even do anything. He just wanted those views. And he's always flexing on his videos. His Lamborghini, his money, his houses. Like nobody actually cares, bro. Who made this guy popular? How did he even become popular? Can we just stop talking about him? Okay, now you might be thinking, who's number one? Who takes the number one spot? Who could be Douchebag Jack? Well, it is the king of all douchebags. At number one, I have Logan Paul. Man, do I need to explain myself, man? Y'all know the history, man. Starting from the video of the forest where he filmed a dead a dude body. I can't even say that word. Crypto scamming his fans. Always being cringe. Disrespecting the religion of his co-workers on his podcast. Going off on my boy Jadeon. Like, the list goes on and on and on and on and on, and like, it just doesn't stop. He's just so garbage. And some people think he's changed, but he actually hasn't. Yeah, there was a short time where he was likable, and I'm talking about that time where he was doing his Pokemon card opening videos, but that was it. And then every year, he just kept messing up and messing up and messing up, man. He just doesn't learn. But yeah, I'm sorry, that's my rant. Um, if you guys liked it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm a very small YouTuber, but with a big, big, big potential. I think, I don't know. <laughs>